Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with IBM's Maximo Asset Management product. And in today's video recording, I'm very excited to highlight new ad hoc reporting feature updates made in Maximo 7608. Ad hoc reporting in Maximo is also often called QBR or query based reporting. In the video recording today, I'm going to highlight the feature updates at a very top level because it's important to understand the feature update before applying it. And then in subsequent videos, we'll go into the ad hoc report tool inside of the Maximo applications and demo these new features for you. So what have we done in 7608? Well, we've introduced a new field that you can find on the style tab of the ad hoc dialog. And the field is called Add Dynamic Application to Saved Report at Runtime. Well, what does this mean? Well, today in Maximo 7.6, when we create an ad hoc report and you save a query to that ad hoc report, at runtime, we dynamically pick up the application query and append it to the QBR report. Well, we've had some client feedback that they in some cases, they don't want to apply that dynamic query. So this new field now is going to empower your users to determine if the dynamic query, again, should be applied at runtime or not. Well, let's look a little bit more at the features. Again, this is the name of the field. Here's the details of what it looks like in the database. But what again is going to happen if I select that field, my dynamic query will be placed or applied to the same report, to the saved report. This enables me to use my record limits, which in many cases are very important for our customers. However, if I choose to not apply my dynamic query, my record limits are not available to that ad hoc report at runtime, but I am always running against my saved query only. There's an important consideration here, again, because this field can impact the use of record limits, and that is if your saved application query is not selected, the dynamic query is used at runtime. Well, why is that important? Well, imagine I didn't have a saved query and I don't have a dynamic query. In that case, I'm running against all records in the database that the user has access to. This could be a potentially major performance issue, especially if the user runs the report over and over again, and we want to prevent that from happening again. So we have to make sure that if the saved application query is not selected, we will apply the dynamic query at runtime. Because this may or may not be exciting or this may or may not be what you want to see in your ad hoc reports. It is a configurable field and it is configurable via this is the property setting here, ad hoc user select dynamic query. A couple other important considerations on this new feature. The first one is if you have the filter or the formatting defined. Imagine that you always, for example, want your user to input a field like work type or status or priority, but you don't necessarily want that to come from the application query or the dynamic query. You can define that on the format field, but if you go ahead and define those particular filters on the format field, we also cannot apply the dynamic query at runtime. So again, if I define filters, my dynamic query would be disabled for me to be able to select that. A couple other important points is the where clause. The where clause is displayed at the very last page of any ad hoc report. It's a nice display because it gives us the number of records that we saw in our report, but it also highlights what my saved where clause is and my dynamic where clause or my runtime where clause. Why is that important? Because maybe I created this ad hoc report six months ago and I forgot exactly what is in it or my description is not intuitive enough. So I can always save my save where clause. But in the case that maybe I did not select 
my runtime or dynamic wear clause, I'll just simply see some text down here, not enabled for this report, so that I know that I ran my ad hoc report against my save wear clause only. Couple other important points, when we're editing an ad hoc report, so I as the user created it and now I wanna edit it, well, I can't change my saved where clause, but I can change whether or not I want to apply my dynamic application query. The reason you can't save your saved where clause is that where clause is embedded within the report design file, which is saved in the database. And we can expose that and also enable a verification of that where clause because the user could manipulate it, cause some potential syntax errors, and then that could cause a performance issue or a report error issue on runtime. But we definitely can enable you to edit that dynamic application query because that's going to be applied at runtime. It's not saved to the actual report design file. So what does this all resu result in at a very, very top level? You know, am I going to use my dynamic application query? So this again is going to be the modification to the 7.6 behavior. The very, very important point that I want to highlight is what happens if I ignore my dynamic application query on a saved report? And the important point again we want to highlight is we're not able to use record limits at that time. We introduce record limits starting in Maximo 7.6, but they are heavily reliant on knowing the number of records within my Maximo application at runtime. So if I choose to ignore that dynamic application query, I don't know the number of records, so we cannot prevent the report from running. A couple of things that I'd really wanted to highlight to you is this is a fairly large change, a configurable change to your ad hoc report. So I encourage you greatly to understand all of the implications, not only on the types of reports that your users can now create, but potentially also on the performance app implications. So we do have a QBR worksheet, and the worksheet goes through each one of the tabs that are available in QBR to discuss the business rules. And so I've added two new worksheets or two new tabs to this to detail what happens if this is set to my dynamic query of no or my dynamic query to yes. What are the resulting behaviors that I'm going to see, both when I'm creating, when I'm previewing my ad hoc report, and the implications to the saved ad hoc report. So again, we're very excited to introduce new functionality that gives you more options for your ad hoc reports. And again, note everything is configurable and I encourage you to greatly review the feature in detail before making any changes. Thank you so much for your time.